I came to Hollywood to pursue my dream of the entertainment business. Within a few days, I was forced into prostitution to survive. I became a stripper, a drug addict, an alcoholic. And one night, I met a customer who said that he would help me and really played into my vulnerability and my uh, loneliness. And he said that he would be there for me and that I could trust him and that I couldn't survive LA without his help. So I went with him, I lived with him, and for a while I felt safe and protected. I felt safe and protected until he began to traffic me to his clients. I was very afraid, but I didn't think that I could survive without him. So I stayed for a little longer. When I finally left, I went back to the strip club to try to pick up the pieces and, and be able to take care of myself. One night um, after working on the way home, I was pulled over by the police, forced to lay down in the street, and um, the next thing I knew there was a gun in my head. They arrested me for car theft and drug possession, and I was put in Civil Brand Women's Correctional Facility. It was in that sobering moment that I realized my life was out of control. It was then that I called out to God to take me back to my roots and to remind me of who I was, and He did. I remember one night um, sitting in my little tiny apartment and just being so sick of my life and sick of working in the clubs and the customers and the men and the abuse. And I just remember one night, it was like God came into the room with me and He told me that He loved me. And in that moment, I saw his heart for me and I remember just falling to my knees and crying and and telling him I would never break his heart again and it was then that I knew how much he loved me and forgave me for all of those choices he had been with me all along he had been with me all that time I couldn't believe that he loved me that much I felt um, that I had done too much and there was too much, too much to forgive and um, when I realized you can't cross the line that he won't be there, he won't be there, he'll be there for you. There's no line that you can cross. He loves you that much. So it was my 30th birthday and I went to work that night ready to just earn the money like I always had. But something was different and I went into the dressing room and it was like the scales had been lifted from my eyes and I saw everything for what it really was. And I decided, I, what am I doing? I gotta get out of here. I can't be doing this anymore. I need to leave. And I remember announcing to the other girls that I was done. I'm out of here, you'll never see me again. And of course they didn't believe me, but I gave away all of my costumes to be sure that I would never come back. And I remember walking outside of the club and thinking, that's it, I'm never going back into that place. And so I left with nothing, the same way I had walked in 10 years earlier. Only this time, I carried in my heart those girls, and I hope to see them again. And that's the reason I started Cherish. Cherish.